It's going good, you know. It feels good for everybody to be back together, back practicing, you know, to get that chemistry, get the uh, the football feel of things. Uh, just to follow up, you know, you personally, uh, what's the off season kind of been like for you? What have you been trying to work on um, kind of leading up into camp now? Uh, everything has been, you know, me personally, I'm trying to uh, work work on my uh, my blocking, you know, good feet, good hands, you know, hat placement, try to get better in the overall game. You know, during the summer, it's kind of, it's been kind of difficult, but now that everybody back together, we kind of, you know, got the team chemistry, getting getting everything right. Uh, you know, we just got done talking to Coach Ellis. He kind of said the same thing with your blocking. He kind of pointed to, like, guys like Tyler Higby and, and his ability to block, I guess. How much do you look at guys like that that have maybe played here and, and gone on to have that success when you're working on your own game? I mean, they say, hey, no block, no rock. So in order to get the rock, you got to block. Uh, it's a it's a big part of being a tight end. You know, everybody get to catch balls and do that. But uh, the game is one in the trenches. You know, you got to have good feet, good hands, good hat placement and those things so you can move the ball. Josh, it's Jeff Lighty from WBKO-TV. So what were you able to do, or if anything, over the offseason? You know, you guys had a long period away from football. Was there anything that you were able to get into uh, as your time away from football? What you mean? Like as on the football aspect of things? Both on the football and off the field, just while you were back at home. What were some of the things you were into during that time? I mean, well, at home, I do work a little bit. You know, I got a, a lawn service LLC. So besides working, uh, you know, just stepping, you know, good steps, you know, getting your, getting your, uh, getting your first step down, second step going so well, and, uh, you know, little things like that, watching film, trying to get better mentally. What were some of the things that you saw from your game uh, last year that you liked that you're trying to carry over and maybe even improve on uh, this season? I don't like nothing I did last year. I felt like it's a lot to improve on, you know, especially in the run game. You know, my feet was kind of bad. Well, it wasn't kind of bad. They were bad. My feet, hat placement, hat placement, hand placement, you know, things like that. You know, recognizing uh, defensive coverage is better, you know, just to improve my game. Uh, you know, Josh, uh, Jared with the Daily News here again. Um, a lot of expectations probably on you this year. Looking at the preseason watch list and stuff, I think a couple of first-team preseason awards. How much pressure – uh, are you putting on yourself kind of heading into this year? Well, I'm not really putting too much pressure on myself. I'm just trying to do what I can do for the team, you know, to help us get a championship. You know, I ain't really worried about the preseason watch list and all that. Like I said, we we out here working, trying to get better as a team, you know, and go win this ship. Josh, what were some of the things uh, – who are some of the people that stood out? I know it's still early in camp, but who are some of the guys that you're kind of looking on the offensive and maybe even the defensive side of the ball? It's like, oh, man, he looks pretty good. Uh, I talk about this all the time with the guys. You know what I'm saying? I believe we do have the best offense in the conference. I do believe we have the best defense in the conference. So it's, a, it's iron shop and iron every day. We come out here, everybody comes out here to work to get each other better. So across the board, you know, we work. I like everybody. I like, I like all my teammates. We all come to work. We all got that mindset. Well, when we in between the white lines, it ain't no friends. We all come to work. Daily news again, um, you know, not going to have a, cure, a quarterback, um, starting quarterback from last year back. Uh, competition, don't know who it's going to be yet, but what have you seen from those guys uh, so far in camp? Uh, like I said, everybody, we come to work every day. Everybody comes to work. Uh, our quarterbacks, all of them, I don't know how many we got, but all of them comes to work. You know, all of them get reps. All of them get their time, you know, to do what they're going to do. But uh, I like I like all our quarterbacks. Anything else for Josh? All right, thank you. Appreciate it, fellas. Um, you know, new to the Hill this year, I guess, what are your first impressions coming in this year and, and what's the process kind of been like up until now? Basically just trying to, uh, you know, just get a good bond with the guys, with the team, just trying to learn, you know what I'm saying, learn to take in what's going on, just trying to fit their system for real, for real, and just move from there. Uh, you know, just to kind of follow up on that, how have things at camp kind of been with these guys and, like, how much, um, I guess, pressure are you putting on yourself as one of the uh, more experienced guys coming in in terms of playing college football? i say say camp being smooth, just trying to put a lot of pressure on myself, just trying to have these guys continue winning, you know what I'm saying, just keep boosting these guys up, moving them, just, kept, like, hopefully they keep helping me boost up, you know what I'm saying, keep pushing me as I push them as a team thing, you know what I'm saying, us moving forward on offense and defense. 
you know, we just talked to Coach Ellis. He kind of said um, playing football is a little bit like golf, how you need to do it every day, um, throwing the ball, catching the ball to kind of get in a rhythm. I guess now day four, where do you think you guys are at? I say we, I say, uh, we look smooth. We just got to, you know what I'm saying, a lot, a lot of learning, a lot of teaching, you know what I'm saying, just continue getting better every day. You know what I'm saying? On both sides of the ball, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, just us as an offense, though, I feel like we just got to keep growing, keep doing what we're doing, you know what I'm saying, keep learning, taking the coaching. I feel like we'll be straight. Reels, Jeff Lighty from WBKO-TV. Uh, just how do you feel that your game will fit in this offense, and how do you think you uh, will be able to have success, you know, running some of the schemes being taught so far? I say uh, with the scheme they have, like I feel like it's a nice scheme. Just the things they they bringing in new, the things we doing new, and like things they already had. I feel like just I'm just trying to fit in with them. Really, you know, so whatever they want me to do, I'm you know, so I'm here to do it. You know, what I'm saying I'm trying to learn as they teach. So whatever they want me to do, I do it. No big deal. Just got to keep on whatever they want me to do. Just keep working at it, get better at it, and just just keep climbing every day. And just to follow up on that. Is it difficult, you know, coming in, especially with an alternate, you know, spring, summer, and fall camp to learn a playbook, you know, know that you only have roughly a month to, to learn the playbook and get ready for that first game of the season? Of course, you know what I'm saying? But that's what, like, practice for. That's what coaches for, you know what I'm saying? To help me out, like, to help me learn, you know what I'm saying? Find me, find ways for me to do it in a good way, you know what I'm saying? Just my strengths, my weakness, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, like, you still do my weakness so I can get better at my weakness. It don't matter, just – that will count for just keep learning. Even though we have a short camp, just keep learning, getting better every day. Just my motive, you know what I'm saying, my thing right now. You know, Will, Barry here with the Daily News again. Um, competing for that starting spot with these other guys, I guess what's it kind of been like uh, just in a competition-wise and how much do you guys, like, communicate and talk and, and work together throughout that process? I feel like at the same time, like, we could like we compete, but at the same time, we also, like, coaching each other. Like, one person do good, hey, good job. You know, so we all, like, coaching each other, teaching each other, like, if one somebody wrong, we we coaching each other. Somebody right, you know what I'm saying? We, we hurrah. So I feel like it's a good thing, you know. So we all we not against each other, but we also know that we compete. So like we just helping each other out at the same time as we compete. Terrell, uh, Taryn Johnson from WNKY40 TV here in Bowling Green. You know, you talk about that quarterback battle, and you're a guy with a wealth of Division One experience. You know, do you think that that experience kind of gives you a leg up? Um, and also allows you to, you know, kind of teach some of the other guys who obviously haven't had that type of experience yet. I mean, yeah, you can say that, but at the same time, ball is ball, I say. You know what I'm saying? Me coming here, it's not about, like, I don't say, I want to say, you got to give me a heads up. Like, I feel like just a thing of, I'm doing wrong, I'm doing wrong, don't play me. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing good. Hey, it is what it is. Them guys doing better than me. Play, play the guys doing better. We all here to compete, you know what I'm saying? So it's not about, like, it's the upper end or the lower end, whoever got the upper end, it's just about who's, who's the guy, who's going to be the guy, you know what I'm saying? So that's how I look at it. Uh, Jared, with the Daily News here again, I know you talked a little bit about some of those guys that are, uh, have been here before. The offensive line, a lot of experience coming back. What's it been like working with those guys specifically? Been good today. I feel like we did – I feel like the line did a good job just picking up everything, blitzes, the runs, like, you know what I'm saying? That's a good thing. That's not – I'm not talking bad about nothing, but, like, that's good seeing, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's good seeing just – from where I'm coming from, you know what I'm saying? Like, those guys are bets. They know what they're doing. They know they calls. They know what – they know to do with blitz come, run come, any any down, like three down, four down, they know their job, you know what I'm saying? So that's a good thing with those guys having experience, just being behind those – being behind those guys, being a protector. You know, with Western, uh, yeah, with Western having uh, one of the top defenses in the conference last year, competing against that every day, how much does that help you guys out? That was out a lot, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's fine, too, though, you know what I'm saying? Just out there talking trash, going back and forth, you know what I'm saying? They might get a big play, we might get a big play. They might get us back-to-back, -back. we might get them back-to-back. -back. It's fun, you know what I'm saying? It's competition, that's what we're here to do, you know what I'm saying? So as we do compete, they're going to help us out on Saturdays, you know what I'm saying? Whatever day we play is going to help us out, you know what I'm saying? So it's a positive.